Well hello again and welcome to the VK6CS Fun with Amateur Radio channel. I bought one of these Bencher YA1 low pass filters just in case I ever do get my uh, high power linear amplifier, sorry my full legal power linear amplifier operational. So I just thought I'd pop it into work and uh, stick it on the uh, analyzer and just see how, how it looks basically, see if it meets these specifications. And it says working range 1.8 to 29.7 megahertz. You can see that if it's all focus. Um, I can't test the power rating, but the attenuation 80 dB at 54 megs. Insertion loss is less than uh, 0.2 dB at 29.7 megs. Okay, well, let's have a look. So here is the unit. I've uh, calibrated the um, the test instrument, which, as I've said before, is a procedure too tedious to show you. Now, uh, I think you can see the frequency readout there. This is 1.78 megahertz, and it's showing an insertion loss of 0 0.11 dB there. 0 0.11, and I've got a marker on here. So uh, we can see the frequency readout and the insertion loss change as I move the marker along. And uh, you can see here, this is where it sort of roll, starts to roll off here, goes down pretty steeply down to there and then away off over here. So this is the pass band, this is the pass band in here. So let's see how it looks. So 1.78 megs is 0 0.11. Take it up to 80 meters, say 3. Point something, say 3.7, and it's 0 0.09. You can see the marker coming across there. The yellow lines on this this line here, which doesn't help actually. I could change the scale, but you can see where it is, I'm sure. Um, so let's take it up to 40 meters, so say 7 megs, 7.24. There we go. We've got 0.2 dB of insertion loss. You can probably see the uh, the marker M1 here moving along, moving along with the blue line there. Uh, so what's it like on 10 megs? I haven't got the tripod with me because I'm at work, so apologies for the shaky camera. There we go, 10.36, 0 0.01 dB insertion loss. As you can see, it's nice and flat along the uh, along the HF range up the top there. What's it like on uh, 20 meters? 14.26 megahertz. Insertion loss is 0 0.12. Still looking nice and flat. Can't remember where the other bands are now, to be honest. Uh, let's try 21. It's got a bit higher. I think there's a band on 21, isn't there? 21.28. And we're still getting. Uh, 0 0.22 dB of insertion loss. As you can see that's nice and flat. And uh, get it up here. Let's move it up here to 28 megs. What did it say on the box? It says at 29.7. Can we get close to 29.7? Oh, call it 29.86. And it says it's 0 0.01 at 29.8. So and it's saying there it's uh, it's less than 0 0.2 so yes it is okay so we can see where uh, it's starting to really steeply uh, attenuate those higher frequencies about there so I'll move it along till we get some get some significant change still looking good 33 megs 34 megs it's starting to about 0 0.46 47 when we get to there, we've got minus 2.4 at 38, at 40 megs minus 6.16, continue along, 43 megs minus 25 dB, 45 megs minus 35, try and get you a better picture of what's going on here, you can see the blue line moving along. And uh, 
at the same operating the gadget with one hand and my holding the camera with the other so shaking about a bit unfortunately there we go. Let's see if I can hold that a little more steady and there we go so we've got a nice so it hits the floor there which is uh, that's 51.31 uh, megs so we've got minus minus 100 db there what does it say here it says 80 db at 54 so that's a bit better than that isn't it because we've got uh, 100 at 51 it does come back up though so let's just see what we do get at 54 52 that's 53 oh 50 54.04 and we get minus 70 minus 70 uh, at 54.04 uh, and the spec is um, minus 80 at uh, 54 so it's 10 dB out but um, if we move the thing along you can see that uh, it does get better than that so down here you can see that's Minus 78, 59. That's going along there. So we've got another low point there. Where's that? That's uh, 63 megs. We've got 80. And then as it goes along here, starting to come up a little bit there. But um, what do we have there? We've got uh, 77 megs. Still neg 72. So that's looking pretty good, I think, really. Um, I go to uh, uh, frequency center span. Let's make the center um, 70 megs. Okay, so that would just let us move that along a bit. That's uh, 70 megs. Oops, there we go. So, marker. So yeah, so along there, so we're getting you know, 78 megs, minus 72. There's all pretty much of a muchness along here. So 88 megs, minus 70. Again, we can look at that. Go along here. So we've got uh, so 103 megs, we've got neg 72. If I go to uh, frequency again, center, and just make it, um, let's make it 150 megahertz, and the span 78 megahertz. Yeah, that's okay. Enter, and there's the marker. Turn another marker on. I don't know where the other one's gone, but. Um, you can see that's going. That's pretty flat all along there to there, and that's uh, 146 megs. We got neg 74 there. And there we got 150 megs, neg 74, neg 75, and that's how, that's how it looks, sort of going off into the uh, into the high frequency region there into the TV. Um, I think that's a TV, sort of 170 odd up there, is it? Somewhere there, 181, neg 74. So yeah, I think uh, I think that's a pass for the uh, for the low pass HF filter uh, from Bencher. I uh, hope you found that interesting. As always, thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.